Magnesium fires are particularly hard to put out. Uh, back in World War II, um, magnesium was used as a part of incendiary bombs, bombs to incinerate things. Uh, they would drop bombs and uh, the magnesium would spread out and be on fire and they were very hard to put out. And the interesting thing is, is you can't put out a magnesium fire with water. Normally, water does put out fire, but if you try to put water on a magnesium fire, you actually make it more, not less flammable. Like, like Greek fire? Um, I don't know exactly what Greek fire was, um, but certainly Greek fire was a hard, uh, there are rumors that it was hard to put out, uh, and that it was certainly, uh, it seems to be that it was probably a flammable, possibly a flammable liquid, is one theory that's been put forth. Uh, this is um, probably, I don't think I've ever heard magnesium as an idea for Greek fire, but certainly it, it might be a, a possibility, I would think. I don't know for sure. Uh, but the thing is, is you couldn't just go up and put out the fire like you normally did. You actually made it more flammable. Now, so I'm going to try a few different versions of getting this one to go. First off, though, we have to start the magnesium burning. And now instead, It does look like a sparkler. Notice how much brighter it gets when it's having the water hit it. And it's not a huge increase in brightness, but there is a definite flash or flicker. Now, someone just said it does. It looks like a sparkler. Yeah. Actually, sparklers, primary component, magnesium. Woo! Every year, Fourth of July, we hand kids. This. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. And, and what's more, it burns at about 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit, if I remember, or Celsius, if I remember correctly. Um, I, if I remember correctly. But certainly in excess of 1,000 degrees. And we, here, play with this as a toy. Sparkling burns happen every year. Uh, now, the reason it ends up not hurting too bad usually. Uh, although you can get serious injuries from a sparkler burn, uh, the reason it ends up not hurting too bad usually is because the piece, of the sparks that hit you are so tiny. And we'll talk about that later in the year. The difference between temperature and heat, because there is a huge difference. But certainly, I had a very short piece here, so it wasn't going to burn very long. But certainly, you know, any normal fire I could put out with. <laughs> a spritz of water, dumping water, but magnesium cannot do that. 